Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Tips with me, Micah Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. I'm going to talk to you today about something that's not especially related to OSINT, aside from the fact that you need to protect your browser from uh, ads and trackers and other things. So we're going to talk a little bit about ad blockers. There's a bunch of them out there that fit right into our web browsers through add-ons or extensions. Let's just use some of the things that we've already learned uh, from previous 10 minute tips to see which ones are more effective at blocking things. Now, I will let you know that I've installed each one of these ad blockers and just installed them and I haven't configured them. I haven't made them uber secure or downloaded special blocking lists or anything like that. I just wanted to see what it would be like if an average user went ahead and downloaded these, these plugins and then uh, went and did their normal browsing. And for our target site, I'm just picking CNN.com because it's a well-known site. There are ads on it. There are trackers and other things. I have nothing against CNN. It, we could substitute any other site in there. It's just the one that I'm going to be using for this demo. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm in Google Chrome here. I'm going to hit F12 and bring up my my uh, developer tools here and switch over to the network tab. Now what this is going to do is this is going to tell me without any ad blocker content in there, how many megabytes worth of data my browser pulls down and how many requests it makes. Remember, every ad, every tracker makes a request from your browser out to some site to send some data about who you are and what you're doing. So with this up, let's just go ahead and test it out. Now, this is our default. This is our, uh, what is it like without any ad blocks? And what we're really looking at is down here at the bottom of the page, see 363 requests. Oh, we're still going. Uh, we've got 486. Still going. Okay. So we've stopped about at 492 requests, 3.9 megabytes transferred. So 492 at 3.9 meg transferred. Okay, cool. That's our baseline. Now, what I've done is I've created some other Google Chrome profiles here, one for each one of the blockers. And the only thing in there is that blocker extension. So here we've got Ad Block Plus. You see the little Ad Block Plus extension there. And let's do the exact same thing. We're going to come up with Developer Tools Network and going to go back to CNN.com. Now, before what we had was we had 492 requests from our browser and 3.9 megabytes transferred. Here with Ad Block, we've got 267 requests and 3.3 megs. So you see that we've got almost uh, about half the number of requests being made from our browser just by putting the unconfigured adblock plus in our browser so already we have some kind of of good effect happening there now let's go ahead and move from that browser adblock, i mean from that plugin adblock plus to ghostery some of you use that do the exact same thing network is there and let's see what happens. Haven't tried Ghost Re Plus yet? Unlock Special Fister. I don't think I'm going to do that. Whoa, look at this. 139 requests and 2.1 megs transferred. So we've got half of what Adblock was doing. So Adblock was 267. This is 139. So we're blocking a lot more pieces of content that normally we would be pinging out. And you can see over here, we've got a bunch of these red entries and these are blocked. All right, so that is Ghostery. And you can see a little ghost right there. Let's do two more. We've got Privacy Badger by EFF. Now the record that we have right now is 139 at 2.1 megs. Privacy Badger is 147 at 2.2. All right, so not too shabby. 
right about on par with Ghostery right now as far as what it's blocking. And let's finally get to uBlock Origin. And we've got uBlock Origin 1. Let's see, 136, 2.3, 136.2.3 megs transferred. And that information is right down here at the bottom of the summary pane. So now, as I mentioned, this is uh, something that you can use to protect yourself. The top three that we found were Ghostery and Privacy Badger and uBlock. Those are the three that block the most ads and block the most trackers and things. But here's the twist. If you are trying to pretend to be like a normal user on the internet, would you actually be using these? Well, think about it, right? If you're surfing around blocking trackers, blocking ads, that might not be something that you want to do if you're doing your OSINT and pretending to be a normal user. Because normal users may or may not use these ad blocking tools and the trackers might actually help us by associating us with topics that we want or people that we want based upon our browsing behavior and based upon what we're searching in search engines. So for me personally, I definitely use uh, at least one of these ad blockers. But for me professionally, I might choose to not enable it and just have my browser look like a normal person. Now, of course, we could tighten down each one of these browsers, enable more things, disable some of the, the trackers and other more experimental features or enable some of those. We could do that and tighten this down even further. But for this right now, uh, I think we've proved our point that using a ad blocker, tracker blocker, we can decrease the number of requests our browsers make and decrease the amount of bandwidth that we need from our original 492 requests at about four megabytes down to 136 requests and 2.3. Well, that's all my time today. I appreciate you listening. Uh, my name is Michael Hoffman and thanks for being no sin curious.